This video is about clustering your learning. So as we can see here, I've got a BSB ITU unit and a BSB ITU unit. So they're very similar. They're going to be easy to cluster. Create and use, special, use spreadsheets and produce simple word process documents, both AQF level 2. So straight away, just looking at their code, I can see that, yep, this is going to be pretty easy to cluster. The next thing I want to look at is my elements. And I want to look at my elements as a main topic. So I've got some main topics here that I know I need to cover. Um, and what I want to look for is are there any similarities between the units? Now here I've got select, prepare, create, produce, finalize. Are any of these similar to the other unit? Well, yeah. Prepare, produce, finalize. Awesome. Well, how can I get these to work together? Well, if I look at learning as what I'm going to do and break it up into segments and into, into actual individual sessions, for the first session, I might focus on this whole idea of just preparing to do the work. What's all involved in that? So I'm going to talk about ergonomics. I'm going to talk about OHS and how to sit upright and that whole side of things, which is the same here. I've got use safe work practices. I'm going to be looking at using energy and resources and conserving them, so turning things off and turning things on and how that, how that can look in the workplace. I'm going to look at different purposes of documents, different people in the workplace might be creating documents for. Um, I'm going to look at the requir different requirements and different layouts and designs and introducing all of this information to my students in just the first session and also um, different spreadsheet task requirements. So. In the first session alone, I'm going to cover off on all of this information and do some activities, get them, you know, exposed to different types of things in regards to preparing to actually creating work. Okay, then I'm going to look and I'm thinking I might spend a couple sessions, session two and three, just on creating documents, creating heaps of different types of spreadsheets using different types of formulas and things like that. And so Exposing them to that, different formulas here, exposing that them to different um, formatting and um, software functions, exposing them to uh, different types of data that can be uh, put into spreadsheets, uh, how to use uh, manuals and, and things like that and, and to overcome their problems they might be having. So where they would go if they're having issues and they need to trouble, tr troubleshoot. Also different chart types and designs that they can use within spreadsheets and features and, and then including in that is the screen display options and controls um, and formatting again software functions again so I spent a couple sessions just on exposing running activities formative assessing assessments getting them used to all the different types right and so the that's my main putting these three together I'd create the, the main topic for that for those two sessions and then here's where I'd break it up maybe session one I do some of these and then in session two I do other ones um, and I'd break that up session two and session three right, rather and then after that I go okay now we've created a bunch of documents how do we finalize all that so I'd say look in our next session guys we're gonna look at finalizing everything so how to adjust the do the preview how to print uh, we're talking about timelines and sort of what it looks like in the real world and getting those documents done because obviously we'd be doing documents together it would have taken us so long that we might in that fourth session go look in the real world it, it shouldn't take you that long you know it needs to take you this long or that sort of thing and this is where you'd actually store or save your spreadsheets you know you're not going to just save them on your desktop the, the businesses or companies you work for would have certain ways that they want to store things so being aware of that so that pretty much covers off on everything, but I might run a fifth session, and that might just be, you know, getting them in the workplace uh, for a day or two, or, you know, this would be my summative test, so I'll maybe running some case studies where they have to create some documents for me, or getting some real work projects that they have to go and create some documents. So in these two, um, these two units, I would be looking at five sessions, probably about a 60 to 90 minutes each not really sure actually so let's actually take a look at that what does that look like you're going I'm not sure how long to make everything so I'm just gonna jump to vet info net I'm gonna grab my unit code and title 
or I'll just grab my code up here. Um, okay, for some reason that's not working. Come on. Okay, so I've got that info net here. I'm just going to click on it. Cool, it brings me to the search page. I'm just going to paste in my, t my code. Great, and it comes up with down here, that's 40 nominal hours. So I'm going to look at those five sessions, um, and I've got 40 hours here that they're saying I'm taking from someone from zero knowledge and skills to 10 in 40 hours just for that unit. Now I'm looking at my other unit and it look it's got 20 hours here so that's creating new spreadsheets. So that's a total of 60 hours. So let's go back and take a look at our sessions. Okay, so I've got here I've put look, maybe my first session can be 3 hours. So we'll run it from 9 to 12. And I'm going to go through all this stuff and we'll run some, you know, activities and different stories and videos about OHS and protecting yourself in the in the work environment what that looks like you know that's a good hour there you could spend just getting them really aware of that and taking care of themselves we could easily spend half an hour just talking about conserving energy and the effect that waste and energy waste has on the environment and then getting into the actual requirements of, of, of documents and purposes of documents and maybe doing a couple of case studies there and stuff. And that's a, we could easily spend an hour just talking and learning and doing activities and maybe watching some videos about that. So that's an easy three hours there just really digging into that. I've got um, six hours here because I got two, two three hour sessions of just creating documents and maybe that's not enough like you know by the time we get into it we'll probably do maybe three different types of documents um, inside those hour inside those three hours you probably have a break in there you know and it takes a while for everyone to warm up to actually being in class so you might not get started for the first 10 minutes and then you gotta let things wrap up for the last 10 you know or that could take off between 20 to 30 minutes just getting started and wrapping up plus you've got a little break in the middle which is you know 15 minutes and then that's almost in you know 45 minutes gone out of your three hours and you you know it leaves you about 30 30 minutes um, 45 minutes per you know if you want to get through three different types of documents to you know get them used to um, so you might look at doing it three sessions here you know and then you're looking at doing nine hours total there um, but if we just stick with what I've got um, and then We've got this session here. We can easily talk about timelines and start getting them thinking about you know how long those those types of projects should take, blah blah blah, getting them ready to go out into their workplace. And I've got them going out twice for a little six hour days. So that's another twelve hours, and they're just gonna go and they're gonna um, work at some company or some business and doing some doing some document creation. Uh, um, exercises so that's only 24 hours you know and we're looking at a 60 hour goal here taking someone from 0 to 10 however the, my cohort coming through they are all you know over 20 years old and they've all had work, work experience and they've all created a lot of documents already and you know through school and different jobs and even just in their personal lives they've they've done a lot of this stuff so I don't need to take up the whole 60 hours um, 24 is plenty and I'm gonna put those six sessions through and I'm gonna show you how to do that in a map right now okay so I've got my map here I'm just gonna paste in my unit code and title um, my delivery mode is face-to-face uh, -face and online and then I've got five sessions in total, so I'm not even going to need these three uh, for these two units. And then I'd also put in my other unit here. Yep, so I've got my other unit, so both my units are in there, and I'm ready to go. Now, I'm just going to format this, because this is what you would do, um, is I'm just going to split my table. Well, I'm going to get rid of these three, because I don't need them. I'm going to bring my table back together and then here I'm going to split my table again 
and that's going to be good all the way down so I'll take these three again um, I'm going to delete them bring this across so we're all lined up bring those together with using the delete button and essentially this is it now I can expand it to bring it out too easy okay so I've got my five sessions I haven't titled them yet but basically I'm just gonna copy and paste my elements in here so I'm just gonna bring those straight across just like that so I'm just highlighting it and then pulling it across now I don't have a fifth and sixth element so I'm just gonna delete those I don't need them I need to make sure I put my unit here and then I'll go in and put my knowledge and skills in here, but I'm not going to do that. You guys, I think, can figure that out. So just going from here, I already know that in my first session, um, I'm going to be covering element one. So I'm just going to put a little X there. And I know in session two and three, I'm doing elements two and three. So I'm just going to put X's there. And then again, my finalizing, um, I've got, I'm doing my my fourth element I'm, I'm really focusing on but it, with this fifth and sixth oh and bugger I took off the sixth column but anyway we'll just go with five and pretend that I've got six there um, I'm actually gonna be if you think about it because they're doing a task holistically in that fifth session I'll be I'll, they'll be doing everything so they'll be going through all, all that sort of learning and learning on the job all, all of these aspects of uh, this unit so then I would make sure to give my sessions titles so this one I might call um, getting ready to create or something like that and go ahead and you know give them all names um, and then you'll need to copy and paste this thing again and you'll do one for your other unit so this is the program title so that actually wouldn't be your unit code and title so you want to give it an actual title, your whole program a title. So I might call my program Learning to Create Documents for Work. So I will create the this map for, and that's the same. It's just my, um, my unit will change, obviously, and then all the elements and will change. My sessions will be the same. And then I'll just take through... Um, what relates to what. Now I'll just do a couple knowledge for you so you can get the idea as well here. So if we just take across a couple of knowledge alright and I'm not gonna do the formatting so much. Okay so I've gone ahead and given my sessions names here so I've got getting ready to create, creating documents, still creating documents is my third one, finalizing projects and then real life experience. So when I'm doing my knowledge for example I've got formatting of workplace documents now if I go back I can see here format spreadsheet using software functions so would that not be formatting would that not be similar to that well when am I teaching that I'm teaching that in session two and three so I know I can tick two and three if I look at organizing organizational requirements for ergonomic standards breaks when, what's when do we talk about that well I'm doing that here that just the furniture and ergonomics and all that that's in session one so I'll go ahead and take session one now th they'll also be doing this when they're in the workplace so I think I'll just give a tick there as well and, they, and that's how you think about those and, and go ahead and and, uh, and you can map those across so that's basically how to cluster sequence your learning think about the nominal hours and go ahead and mapping that uh, your ideas across into a, a learning program competency map hope this video helps good luck